Hello world, I'm back to share my fifth book trailer. And this book is called Classics to Read Aloud to Your Children by William F. Russell. One of the things that's always perplexed me is the fact that we need a license to do just about anything except have kids. And there's so much a brand new parent needs to know. I had two boys and I read to them every single night, at least 20 to 30 minutes, every single night until finally, when they were both in high school, they, they let me know that they'll continue to read, but they wanted to do it themselves. And so when they started school, if you look at current research, they started school knowing 1.4 million more words than the student who started school who had never been read to. It's so important. Reading mirrors the learning process. And so readers are more efficient at learning. And they achieve more, higher levels. I taught high school and a lot of students would say, well, I can read. I just don't. And my comment back to them is, if you don't read, you're no better off than someone who can't. You need to read. So grandmas, parents, aunts, uncles, this is a great time to pick up a book, FaceTime, or even telephone, and read, read to that loved one of yours. It will definitely make their day, I promise you. And it will make your day. It'll put, it'll put a smile on your face. I would like to give you an example of that by reading one thing from this book to you, but it's only one page. I used to say that to my reluctant readers. Just one page. That's all I'm going to read. It's called It Couldn't Be Done. And this is suggested listening level, all ages. That's another thing it does in this book. It talks about age levels, but if it's good for a five-year-old, it's five and up. This one's good for all ages. It Couldn't Be Done by Edgar A. Guest. Somebody said that it couldn't be done. But he, with a chuckle, replied that maybe it couldn't, but he would be the one who wouldn't say so till he tried. So he buckled right in with the trace of a grin on his face. If he worried he hit it, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done. And he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one has ever done it. But he took off his coat and he took off his hat, and the first thing we knew, he'd begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubting or quit it, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure. There are thousands to point out to you, one by one, the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done, and you'll do it. What I'd like is for everyone to open up a book and read every day for at least 10 minutes. So powerful. I promise you, it will make your day the most magnificent thing. Happy reading.